Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's look will be on this green eye makeup tutorial. So I'll do eye look purely for green eyes. Also any eye any eye colour can really wear this. Brown, green, blue, purple, like whatever you have. Anyone can really wear this eye look. It's just more focused towards green eyes because you guys did request it and um, the colours I use do help green eyes to like really stand out and pop. But like I said, in saying that, any one of you guys can wear this with, uh, with any eye colour, black even, like literally it'll look so good. And it's a really wearable glam look, I feel. Um, I have got eye contacts in. Um, these are from Natural Coloured Lenses. I'll leave all the information down below. Um, so it is a sponsored video, so they have sponsored me to try out these um, lenses and review them for you. So far, I'm absolutely loving them. Like, they were so easy to apply. Like, putting them in my eyes was just, like, so good. It was so easy. I've worn my fair share of, like, contact lenses. Um, you know, with all my different makeup looks, I like to just jazz it up a bit. So if you guys are interested in, like, looking into them, purchasing them, whatever it may be, I'll leave all the information down below along with my discount code where you receive about 10% off, I believe, with your purchase. I do get a small commission with that discount code, though. So in saying that, like, if you guys aren't comfortable with using it, don't use it, like, up to you really uh yeah so i think that's all i need to say i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to leave a comment down below what you thought if you found it helpful what other tips you found have been helpful for you otherwise yeah so without further ado let's get straight into the makeup look <laughs> hey guys so today is going to be a green eyed inspired makeup look so i did get a request from you caroline that you wanted to see a green eyed makeup look which I can definitely do for you but it's so exciting I'm actually so excited to be able to try these lenses out they are flipping insane so I have done like a before what the lenses look like so with my natural eyes and then I've done like a little video of like what they look like afterwards so you guys can just like see the comparison they look so like so natural it's actually insane like I've tried on my fair share of like contact lenses you guys have seen me wear different contact lenses in my other tutorials I've worn blue I've worn like Halloween ones like I've worn lots of different kinds and I found these ones were actually the easiest to apply into my eye like it was just like boop right in. it was so easy and oh like I just can't stop looking at my eye colors like they're just so green like oh so the ones they were kind enough to send me were the ones in the style like Buzios, I believe. I think I'm pronouncing it wrong. I'll just show you what they look like, like the image. And they're just like a natural kind of green style. They're not so intense that you just know you're wearing fake contact lenses. They actually are so natural. Like I can't believe it. It's actually insane. Like you can't really see the rim around it and like they just mesh into the eyes so well. I'm so in love with them right now. Like, I can't wait to just wear them all the time. <laughs> Literally. But yeah, I thought they'd be perfect to use with this green-eyed makeup look since you did request it. And I know, like, you know, there's lots of you guys with different eye colours out there. They would like to see, like, what eyeshadows work best with green eyes. So I thought I'd do, like, a simple, you know, wearable eye makeup look that's perfect for green eyes. That makes them really pop and stand out. Just using little simple techniques, simple colours, like... Just for you guys, okay? Just for my green-eyed gals out there. But, yeah, let's get into it. Let's just zoom you in. <laughs> so, for green eyes, colours like, like burgundies, like pinks, purples, lilac will really complement. Even, like, orange, like, bronzy tones. Those kind of colours will really complement green eyes. It just help make them stand out the most. If you have more blue eyes, gold tones, like, goldy, um coppery tones work best as well just because like the opposite colors on the spectrum it just really helps those eyes to like pop and stand out and complement them really well i'm thinking i might do like a warm like peachy burgundy like, rosy tone smoky eye for you guys i think that would like stand out against green eyes really well so that's kind of what i'm feeling the vibes i'm going with at the moment i might do a cut crease just because i'm feeling a bit extra we'll see We'll see. So because it is the early morning, the lighting isn't my fave at the moment. So we just have to make do. Hopefully it looks okay, you know. For you guys, we'll just, we'll just see. But yeah, I'm going to first of all apply a transition. So I want a little fluffy brush like this one. I'm going to dip into the shade Silk Cream from the Make 
the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and I'm just literally just lightly applying this through the crease and I'm focusing most of the product on the outer corner and then just slowly working my way towards the inner corner this is going to be like a cat eye I'm feeling the cat eye vibes today like a really almondy shaped one so I'm just going to keep most of the pigment focused on that area on the outer corner don't I mean wherever you place the brush initially like first is where the most pigment is going to show up so if you start here it's going to be like darker here if you start here it's going to be darker here I always like to like dip into the palette tap it off a little bit and then I go in and apply it just because it means there's less fallout on the face and it doesn't apply too much I think building it up is more smooth, like a smoother application rather than just going ham and just applying a whole ton of, ton of eyeshadow at once, you know. Okay, so we've got the initial transition in there, just something soft, nothing too crazy. I'm going to take the next shade in, because I am keeping it like peachy, I'm not going to really bring like too many browns in there, like I think I might keep it like a cranberry, peachy, that kind of tone. So I'm actually looking at my Morphe 350 palette, which I haven't used in like a hot minute. I think I might take that like kind of peachy orange shade and just lightly wipe that through the outer crease area just under the initial transition shade. Yeah, orange does make like green eyes look really good. Green, blue eyes. Like when I was reading out those colours like purple, lilac, burgundy, oranges, warm tones, like um they all make green eyes stand out so much and I just do, I really do agree with that like it just, because it's like that contrast it just looks so nice and it does, it just helps bring that colour through pop it through a little bit so I'm just like I said, placing the most pigment on the outer corner blending it through, you know, the, you know the drill guys like I don't need to repeat it I'm sure you're up to speed next I'm taking the shade Cream from the Juvia's Place Deuce palette and applying that with my same fluffy brush um, there's a waiver 221 Luxe Soft Crease and I'm just applying it just a bit over that peachy shade just because I do want it to be like that orange shade just to make it a bit more peachier um, but I'm not using as much as I did with the orange so I'm just doing like a light layer of that peachy tone before we go into like the burgundy shades and everything so the next shade I'm going to take is this like rusty brown shade called Hunts and I'm just going to mix that with like a touch of Jax which is the shade underneath. I'm going to probably go back in with Jax a bit later on but just to kind of get that initial burgundy shade I'm going to mix it in just a smidgen. I'm focusing on the outer portion of the eye again. I'm not really bringing any shade like past about two thirds of my eye because I do want to keep that arm in shape. And I'm just going back in with a little bit of silk cream on the edges, like that transition shade that we used at the beginning. And I'm just slowly buffing out the any like harsh lines just around the very edges of all those shades that I've just used. So next, the shade I'm going to go in with like the outer corner crease area is Bitten. It's a nice deep like whiny burgundy shade. And I'm just going to go in with that on a petite crease brush and like I said take it on the outer portion of the eye. So basically like with any eyeshadow look you just want to kind of bring in those deeper tones gradually that's when it's going to look the most smoothest and well blended. If you've ever used like three eyeshadows it's not going to look as smooth as it would if you used more because it just creates that more smoother gradient into each um, shadow but I mean it's each to their own like if you feel like there's too many steps that you don't have all the eyeshadows just do what you can like for me I didn't have many eyeshadows in my collection early on. So I used to just make do, you know, some mix eyeshadows together uh, to try and create looks just around what I had. I'm just kind of slowly working it through that crease area. So I initially placed it here and then with whatever's left on the brush I've just been wiggling it through the crease area. Just like that. Remember to always tap off your brush especially as we're getting into these deeper like shades. You don't want to have um, all that fallout going on your foundation or on your face um, giving you like that shadow so it's just smooth if you just swirl it in the palette tap it off a couple times 
and then go through the crease. So I'm just softening those edges with that Hunt's shade and then I think I might take some of that like orange shade from the Morphe palette again. Just a smidgen on the very outer portion of Hunt's just to kind of run that through a bit. And then finally, just a little bit of silk cream as well. Well, you can go in with some of that pinky peach shade from the Juvia's Place palette if you want. But I don't know, I just don't think it's that necessary um, at this point. So before I go in with Jax, like to deepen up the outer portion and stuff, I think I might go in with some concealer and just like cut my crease. Because I do want like a cut crease look today. Like that's how I'm feeling. So I'm just going to go in with my MAC um, paint pot in soft ochre. You guys can just use any concealer, like whatever you feel like works just best for you. Feel free to go ahead and just carve out your crease. I'm only going to bring it about two thirds across. I don't think I need to fully carve out my whole crease area, so yeah, about halfway I'll stop. I'm going to just go in with my finger to soften any edges on that cut crease area just so it's smoother. There's no like line just stopping it there it just kind of fades into the eyeshadow so for the like lid color i want to go in with something like champagne -y, i think i think that would look really nice with this look so we're going to take um shimmer shimmer from makeup geek um and apply that on my inner portion of my eye i just to place that like the inner third of my eye because i'm going to bring in a more burgundy shade for like the center of the lid so the shade I want to take is called Crayon Apple. And I'm just going to place that next to Shimmer Shimmer on the very center of my lid. And I just switch to my Morphe M326 brush to really get that crisp line out there. Just with the creases. Now you can see it's quite choppy at the moment, so I'm going to use another shadow just in between Shimmer Shimmer and Crayon Apple as like a mediator kind of thing, just to help those two blend in together. So first of all, I'm going to take Sissy um, just for now and just place that between Crayon Apple and um, Shimmer Shimmer. Ooh. Mm, that is a delectable shade. Wow, that's so nice. So it got like a bit of gold in there kind of thing, like, or like actually more peachy, like that is so nice. Oh, I haven't used this shade before, it's so pretty. Just kind of using swiping motions to blend those two together. I might even go with in with one more shade between Sissy and Shimmer Shimmer, just so it's really smooth. I don't know yet, I'll see. So I might even take a bit of faint and put that between Sissy and Shimmer Shimmer. Just a little bit of it though. I'm just going back in with a bit of Shimmer Shimmer to just bring that tone back. The best effect is when you don't know where one shadow begins and the other ends. Like they all just melt into one another. That's kind of like my goal all the time is just to get that perfect gradient so they all just melt into one another. And then going back in after I've used the other three and just going in with a bit of crayon apple against Sissy and just blending those two together seamlessly. And then taking a bit my petite crease brush and some of Jack's, I'm going to place that in the very outer corner of my eye. And what I like to do, what I just feel like works a treat with like cut creases to really get that like definition and just tie it all in together is I grab a little like precise little shader brush, this one's from Zueva, and I grab some of Jack's again, just a little bit on the very tip of the brush, and I go and I just run that through the crease area, like just above where we got that cut crease going, just running the tip of the bristles just along that area there. And I only bring it uh, about two thirds of the way across, not bringing it all the way in because I want to keep it, like I said, I've been keeping that cat eye shape. And I hold the brush like on an upward angle like this to help 
the blending process as well so it blends as I apply it in just gets that more sharp line in there uh, I've built up the outer corner um, area just a bit more with like a pencil brush so I was just going in and just kind of packing on some of that eyeshadow um, just on the outer V of the eye so right on the outer portion um, just here I'm just like patting it so it blends into crayon apple so next is I think I'm like going with the brow bone in the corner and I'm going to take and light from the on um, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette just a touch on the inner corners just nothing too crazy and then a touch on the brow bone too and then on a pencil brush with some of silk cream I'm just softening those edges so there's no harsh lines where that highlight is and then going in with a touch of that Morphe 350 orange shade just a touch just like that <laughs> So I went ahead and applied some false lashes and mascara. The lashes I went in today with are in the style Temptress Wispy from the House of Lashes collection. I just applied them on like, I just want something really wispy. I didn't do liner today because I had done liner in my other two tutorials and I just thought I just like the eyeshadow so much I just don't think it really needs it. So yeah, but if you guys want to you can do like a little bit of eyeliner if you feel like that makes you more comfortable. Honey, it's up to you. But yeah, so let's tie it line, shall we? So what is fantastic, what really makes um, green eyes stand out is a brown eye curl in the waterline. It just complements green eyes so, so, so well. So I'm going to take the one from Makeup Geek. It's in the shade Espresso. It's just their full spectrum eye coal. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to pop that baby in my waterline and tight line. And I'm just dragging it like a smidgen and a half under the outer corner, like bottom lash line area. Just like a smidgen, just a wee little bit. Um, because I'm going to smudge it out just in a second. So next to smudge along that brown like really tightly against the lash line I'm going to grab Jacks on my Morphe M326 brush and I'm keeping it heavily pigmented on the outer corner and just taping it tapering it into the inner corner. What you could have done on the bottom waterline if you're not a fan of like a deep smoky um bottom lash line you could have used a nude eye coat in the waterline and that would complement this eye look so well as well but I want to go all out really show you techniques to stand like make green ones stand out but next we're going to smudge out that burgundy shade so we're going to go in with a smidge bit of hunts and also take some of that um, orange shade from the Morphe 350 palette and just use those two shades to buff out Jack's and even just taking a bit of bitten as well and just running that underneath just like here and there just in between like the orange and the burgundy just taking a bit of shimmer shimmer um, underneath the waterline just here um, just because I want to open the eyes a little bit more I mean I want this to be more of like a daytime glam like wearable look as opposed to it being quite like the eyes being quite closed off and smoky on the inner corner to be quite open so I mean I'm applying it to like the bottom lash line area just on the inner corner here and just with some of that orange shade from the Morphe 350 palette I'm barely touching the brush to my skin I'm just kind of blending shimmer shimmer into the deeper tones just barely touching it so more pressure here barely touching it here and then running some of that transition shade just on the outer skirts just kind of want everything to just tie in and I like to kind of give a bit more tonage under the eye socket area just because I like that eye bag look just a little bit there. Woo! Done! 
And for my bottom lash mascara, I'm just going to take my Colossal Mascara from Maybelline and apply that. And that there finishes off the eye look. So that is what I feel like will complement a green eye so much. I'm just obsessed with this eye. To be honest, it would suit any eye colour. Like I said, like these tones will suit any eye colour. They just really accentuate green eyes. So we're going to move on with the lips now. I'm going to use my brown eye curl because I do want an ombre lip. I was thinking about using like my nude lip, lip like lip liner, and then I'm just like, like I kind of want it to be a little bit like ombre. So I'm just going to line my lips real quick. Then I'm going to go in with Commando from Kylie Cosmetics. It's the velvet uh, liquid lipstick, and just apply that over top. And then to lighten it up a little bit, because I don't want it to be really much of a focus compared to the eyes, I'm going to go in with my Dose of Colours Undressed Lip Gloss. Voila. So this here completes today's makeup look, guys. I really, really, really hope you did enjoy it, got a few tips for it out of it, and also if you do have green eyes, like I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, you know, in finding something that really will make your eyes stand out and pop. I, oh, yeah. as like a final review of the eye contacts, like I have to say, like these are like really good quality. They haven't irritated my eyes. They look so natural, like they're actually my actual eye color. Like I wouldn't, if I was walking down the street and I saw somebody wearing these, like I wouldn't be able to tell it's not their natural eye color. Like I would just assume because they, they literally do look so natural. So yeah, I would like recommend these like I don't usually recommend products if I don't fully believe in them and I do feel like these do get a big thumbs up so I do really like these I would be, I'd be happy to purchase these myself um, in the future so like I said I have left the discount code and all the information down below about the lenses also the products that I use today will all be listed down in the description bar just for you guys as well otherwise guys I hope you have an amazing day I love you all so so much and I'll see you in my next video no. Mm -hmm.